you see it on Twitter, you see it in the YouTube comments, why can't FIFA career mode be more like Football Manager? Well, you can only go so far with this because Football Manager is such an in-depth game. If you just straight up copy it into FIFA, FIFA loses its pickup and play ability, which has made it such a popular game through the years. But what aspects can you take from Football Manager to really enhance the career mode experience? Well, hopefully I'm going to list them today. If you've got any suggestions put them down in the comments hopefully is watched by someone at ea maybe these things can be implemented at one time i do apologize that this is not youth squad legends only recently found out that england were on at 5 p.m and not 8 p.m so it's messed up the scheduling this is a video that i wanted to make improving career mode is a goal of mine and implementing these 10 things would make fifa's career mode so much better the first improvement really simple if we go to this pen it's an fm in-game editor so for fifa you would be able to change appearances boot similar situation here i can start editing numbers all over the place this would make your save a bit more unique on the pc we've got aaron act 2's live editor to do similar stuff to the fm in-game editor but in-game editors are of course more safe number two i've got lifetime stats and records it's just great to look back on some of your finest players and understand just how good they were certain seasons and if they break records along the way fifa does not have any of this most league goals by a player in this club 296 player that i never managed but that's a lot of goals. I don't think any of my players are going to get there. But if they do, what an achievement. It's like little objectives within the larger objective of winning the Champions League. Number three, I've got player personalities. And you can see this player here has got a driven personality, which means that he'll probably reach his potential fairly quick. But usually he gets his way and it's very difficult to twist his arm. Now, FIFA does have player personalities, probably not on the scale of football manager. The player conversations in FIFA FIFA are so lackluster there's not enough dialogue which means there's very little variety everybody's just a cardboard cutout essentially number four we got player growth and development we'll stay on Ayub Fassi theory because the personality does work into this but also if he's injury free if he's getting game time it all works towards a player reaching their potential experience is massive in real life that's why so many teams put the players on loan it bewilders me that fifa's got such an ancient player growth system it seriously needs looking into when you're starting up a game most of the real life wonder kids have a range on football manager not a specific number for the potential like fifa does it means that every single save is slightly different number five finances fifa has a finance section which you can't affect what's the point of that in Football Manager, you can see your income, you can see your expenditure, you can see how much you're spending on wages. You can make use of these numbers and make sure that your club isn't plunged into debt. Number six, probably something that you didn't think was coming in this video, registration rules. League registration rules are so important to real life football and football manager. I don't know why FIFA completely ignore them. It would add just a little bit more challenge into the game. And I think that's the problem with career mode there's not enough challenge better fixture arrangement is at number seven give them credit fifa have got better but they are nowhere near football manager their system for planning out a season is top notch almost as good as real life number eight is a big one for me scouting actually matters on football manager i hardly scout anyone on fifa and at times i take the masking off completely because no one cares about it it doesn't help you in the slightest whereas in football manager scouting trialing players is so fundamental to get a good understanding on whether this guy is the right signing or not once again it's a part of fifa that it feels prehistoric number nine is a better transfer experience so there's more back and forth within football manager that feels like it's progressing to somewhere monaco won 84 million for this particular player i'm not willing to pay 84 million i'll go to 40 but they won 8 million of add-ons don't want that maybe 44 that should be enough 
Boom, we met in the middle. Hardly any negotiations on FIFA. Managers of other teams simply don't have patience. Within like three bids, they walk out. And at number 10, proper youth teams. Ignore the dare to dream with Djibouti badge up there. Vashash, under-19s, they've got a second club as well with their own tactics, training, fixtures, maybe even add the ability to play with these players as well. That would be awesome. And as an extra bonus, you put all these into the game, you iron out all the bugs that are in FIFA 21, and the final goal is to make an online career mode. But I won't put it on my list of 10 features to add into FIFA just yet, because I know if they put this career mode online, the bugs will be immense. Eye-watering. They need to solidify the game first, then start developing an online mode. It is time now. We have to push for an online career mode. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Football Manager is a wicked game, but it is very in-depth. Maybe you want to pick it up. It might be on sale right now. Have a play about with it. Why not? Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side. Patrons helping me out financially. Do appreciate it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.